Mashmona is the youngest, richest gospel artist. Mm -hmm. uh, the big boys are my friends. Mm -hmm. So, I was going to promote the level of 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 the the TV and this is the show Biz Fix. I'm your host, Mousi Huru. And today, on the show, we have none other than Mash Mwana, one of the richest Kenyan musicians. So, I'm going, bro. Na kwa aje, bro. Kofiti. Na shukuru mungu. Tukwa hapa juu ya size 8. Na tuna shukuru mungu manze. Kwa support yenu kama online TVs. Kwa mungu support sana. Mungu wa bless sana, jo. Yeah. Alafu, bro, naona style imekubali. Juchini, uneza tuambia umepiga how much? Kiatu vipi? Kiatu hii, hii ni Gucci. Ah... Nime pika ma brand brand. Tume tu tume dollar mi dollar elf moja. Dollar elf moja juchini. Juchini. Kabisa bro. Alafu kido kido kuto naski una sema kwamba you the richest young Kenyan gospel artist. Yeah yeah yeah. Ebu tu ambeko siyo story. Ah, si mi mi Forbes za Kenya zina sema ibo. Mashmona is the youngest richest gospel artist. And sometimes we say these things to 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 impact the people that. Sini watu tumetoka ghetto bro. Yes. Tuna impact sana life za watu wengi huko ghetto. Mm -hmm. That's why tunaambia hata wako huko ghetto pia ni wa rich mm -hmm. na pia endelee ku declare that they are rich one day they'll be rich. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Alafu bro kido kidogo watu naona unabangaiza nao kina masterpiece. Unakaa na wasanii wakubwa. There's uh, also this uh, group of uh, boys called the big boys. Juzi the other day while he spent 500,000 on drinks only. Were you there and what is your relationship with them? Uh uh, the big boys are my friends, mm -hmm. uh, and uh, they are it's, they are not big boys. Mm -hmm. They're just um, people are trying to to make positivity in the community. That is the boss money, and the, I'm the head uh, manager of boss money entertainment, mm -hmm. the side of artists and the DJs. So I know I sit and promote. So I know I'm a kuingia mtani ku promote wase wakochini ku aleta level lengine ku change lives wase. So Bosmani ni Bosmani mwenye ni boys wangu. Actually my my upcoming project is funded by Bosman Entertainment. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So bro, hebu niambie, nitaje tu wase watano yani ama let's say five people who are in your circle, your closest of friends. Masterpiece DK uh, Hope Kid, Bahati, uh, DJ Mo of course, uh, Del, Bosmani um Dida, see your Dida. Nina was saying, "Sana, mimi ni msa watu. Me, I'm that guy who's surrounded with people who are important to the community, who give the positive vibe to the community. I'm that guy. Yeah. Hello, for bro. Kuna yo uli attend ile ile charity. Ujamaa koke. Ujamaa koke uyu. Niaje niaje boa zaidi niaje. Kofiti manzi. Kofiti. Kabisa tuna shukuru mengi katika. Oh yeah. Mto hapa tafadali. Amelecha kondo moja kwa kwa. Oh na ameni letter. Mimi nimeleta kondo. Hii kondo hizi pote. Amelecha kondo kwa kati. 99 zipo tena lakini hii moja. 99 zipo tena lakini hii moja. Moja umeamua. Lazima irudi. Anashukuru sana mimi. Manzi. Hivi mkwaje lakini tukupo sana. Tukupo support the event. Uh, for me, I, want to, uh, I launched my album the other day, so I know what it entails to have an album launch. Yeah. And it's a very good thing because compiling an album is not a joke. Okay. Sim chairs over there, Sim chairs. Now, like all of us, we are here to support her. It just shows the love that we have for Size 8 and for the industry as a whole. Yeah. Uh, Many welcome to Kusho Love. We are here to like Kenyan music needs all of us, and we are here to support each other. 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 We are Speaking of Valentine's, bro, kona mtu akuka na kesho 14th. Tomorrow is Valentine's. You try. Kwaja weva, kuja maliza. Masha me amua. Masha zabonga. Masha me amua. Kesho sisi wato tuka katoloni. Ilikuwa, atuko na John Valentine tukieka 14th. So ime tu, ime tu, ime tu pata huko. Alafu, what should we expect from you? 
as an uh, artist? For me, I'm, I'm actually, mm -hmm. right now I'm doing my album. Niko, venye owe na mesema, ni ngumu. Because ni kitu ngumu sana kurekod ngumu. Zaidi yata ya tano wazifuanani. Kweli. Kuandika, and as you are a gospel minister, eh, you don't just write a song. You know, song is just words. But there is something that is called spirit behind everything. The spirit behind the song. Kuipata. You need magoti. So ndo uipate yu spirit ya yu wimbo. Najua hata kila mtu anezai. Hata shetani anajua mungu. Lakini ana spirit ya mungu. Unanipata? So sahi, sisi ya tuimbagi tu. Si lazima tuombe wimbo. Lazima tulize mungu. Yu wimbo inataka kufanya nini. So, ni ngumu. So, kiona hata saizita mimaliza album. Bro, hii ni kuamisha milima. Hii ndo inaitakwa kuamisha milima. So, pia mi ni kona album, inakam. Na pia lazima ntafute ndugu yangu. Aweke hile sauti ya... Unasikia sauti ya mzea kifika. Aweke ndani. Makondo wote wakuje. Kabisa, bro. Uleza tuwembea nani na nani umeficha kwa hiyo album? Album yangu, it's not ready. It's very young. Ndiyo nendelea kui pile up. Number one, lazima, before ita watu kwa kolabo, kwa kolabo lazima kwe yourself, you are prepared kukuambia watu, this is what I have. So as an artist, um, niko kwa hiyo period ya, ku, ya kukusanya what I have first. Ndiyo pia niki muita si muiti ya sikie, na muita tu pia niambia itoa, iweka. Because ni, ni, kumpata huyu si raisi bro, exactly, yeah, eh, kumpea mai kivi bro ni, wanamtafta yeah, sana East Africa, yeah, Central, nini. Yeah, yeah. So wewe, piga interview, kesho trend. <laughs> Tafurai sana tukitrend manze. Owen manze, so far, album yako inafanyaji? Inadupua sana by the way. Siku wana expect, because you know for me, nimekua, sinu, album yako inafanyaji ya likuwa kwa tape. Enelewa. Ya pili kwa kwa VCD. Ya tatu kwa kwa CD. Ya nene kwa kwa DVD. Sayi ya tano manze, nujo nile, ni digital saa, ni kama una sell hewa. Eh, una hard copy manze, na kumukasike. Pasile kwa nakuja kwa dedicate alwa manze, wapi album nambia, eko online. Ndiyo yo sasa. So it's a different challenge and you need to appreciate that each and every revolution, every movement, every generation has their own way of doing things. So this one kwangu ilikuwa very challenging kufanya album na kweka tu online and then expecting things to work. So for me right now, I'm still learning the ropes to understand venye na work, ni different kidogo, but young po kama kina mwasha na jovenye au manuva. So I appreciate because I like learning. I've been here for so many years. I like learning. Nani mwana kila? Nini kipita. Wanyanazani. Kila generation ni kipita. Ingine kikam. So, size so far, according to me, is doing well. Yeah. Alafu manze, tukecheki. Gospel artist manze, onato albums back to back to back to back. Do you think gospel music inalipa vizuri zaidi ya secular music? I think number one for, for gospel artists to albums, it's a culture. For us, it's a culture. Because we always believe that uh, an album gives you a direction. Everyone is expecting something from him. So with an album, where anda kutupeleka. You understand? The mood. Because kama ni songs, kama atatwa mangoma za kizuk, za kwa zenda kufano na iyo mood, laki tunajua sayi, hapa nupela natupeleka. Ama this is a new style that is taking us to understand and listen. So album gives people mood. And for us gospel artists, it's more of our culture in the gospel industry. Because our fans on Azoyanga, when you come with something new, give us a full album for us to enjoy. And then number two, for gospel, it's not about selling. It's not about numbers. It's not about kukwana pesa ma kukwana pesa. For us, for gospel, it's just more of doing something for the fans, for them to, yeah, for them to appreciate and for you to compile the word in a different manner with different verses and put a compilation out there for them to appreciate. Yeah. By the way, Iani, you may get... Kila mtu wakona pombe, lakini hapa wakona pombe. Hapa ni kila mtu wakona biblia. So to expect remix kati yako na asa ni... Expect remix ni kuhopa pia kulearn from my brother that Yohen. I'm a good friend and a good mentor and a good brother. Na ni kupia pa kulearn also from Mashmoana. Juki angali awa seote, wali step before me, mi kwa game. So I believe kuna so much to learn from them. Na mi pia ni kuhopa kusupport size age. Na wase to expect vitu fiti. Eh, ma gospel vibes pia zita kama hapo katikati. Wajipambe tu. Eh, manze. Nafaa kuweka karibu juu na juu uja mapo kama si masidi sa mekuja na chopa. Umse vile vile. Nafaa kuweka close pia minikue ni chill na big boy. Udo, udo pazu. Udo pazu. Umepata kila. Mi anytime. Mwende kuda anytime. Karibu sana manze. Wagon bro. Cheers man.